how do you make time for you two to have fun instead of being like, hurry up. But that's kind of like what we do. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, he's uh, the lion it that is comes like after that. me and I'm like, get away. And then it's like, no, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Yay. Networks. Hey guys. I wanted to say welcome back, but every time I say that, you say I'm doing it wrong. Uh, We are at episode 10. I can't believe we're at episode 10 now of Together Miss Podcast. Again, like I always say, thank you so much for everybody who has watched, downloaded, subscribed, tagged a friend, liked. Um, Y'all are definitely growing this podcast and the numbers are growing. And I and we, not I. We both are very thankful for every single one of you who listen and watch every single Wednesday. Yeah, th- uh, for real, thank you. Because the response has even been a bit overwhelming for me. Just like random people or people that I talk to a lot are like, oh man, I'm loving the podcast. Or they'll drop a line and I'm like, is that from the podcast? So yeah, it's a lot like- of people who I don't even think would listen to this podcast listen to it. And then they'll, uh, like you said, drop a line and you're like, wait. You do listen. Yeah. But today, since it's episode 10, this is all about you guys. So we um, we thought it would be funny to have an interactive um, Q&A with all of you. I screen recorded everything because there were so many questions. I was just going to write them down and there were way too many. So I'm just going to reference a lot of them from my phone. Jeff, he's been busy. You started season seven of Daily Blast Live. So congratulations with that. It's amazing. It's amazing. And then sports have started, um, you know, like the practice and schedule. It's just there's so much going on. Yeah, back to school and our episode 10. And today is Monday uh, that we are recording, and it is 9-11. I wanted to say that, too. So uh, today I did – okay, so I saw a neighbor. Well, I didn't know it was a neighbor at the time. Um, there was a guy running with an American flag, and I sent a video to my friend Jen, and she goes, oh, that's Nicole's husband running. He does it every year. So um, – he motivated me and didn't even know he motivated me. And so I went up to the gym and I did the stair challenge that a lot of firefighters do. Today they had a thing at Red Rocks uh, with firefighters like dressed in their gear and they do the steps. Oh, And yeah. I think that's so cool. Um, but today I did, I can't believe I did it. And I mean, you can just look at me and tell I'm not in shape. <laughs> <laughs> at all <laughs> and if you're listening just imagine no you're not get out of here and um so i did what was it 110 floors today and uh, tomorrow i probably will not be able to walk you're not gonna be able to sit on the toilet and i don't mean no. that like in a weird way but you haven't done anything that extreme no. and a long time a while yeah, yeah. so for you to knock out it's okay. 110 y- fl- you can say it I well i'm being delicate out. in these day in these times you have to be very oh because somebody over there is gonna be like jeff's mean to his wife i gained 25 pounds i would wing myself if you want to know i wing myself off my antidepressants because i gained 25 pounds i took semi-glutide shots so like back in october took it for four months and then had like all these side effects and then as soon as I got off the shots, I was like, bloop, I blew right back up again. Yeah, but keep to, going. No, to go keep back to about. what you were saying, like, or to you doing the stairs. I think that's super impressive. But to just put, like, that's why a lot of people stop working out because they get the first day back and they crush it. And then they're like, I can't even move my body. I'm never going back, yeah. you know? So try to work through that if you can because you had a big workout like for your first one probably won't work out tomorrow but i just wanted to (laughs) put that in there that was for the firefighters because they're so badass the ones i can't even imagine uh twin towers are on fire you have 60 pounds of equipment and you're just going up to try to save people like it's so amazing yeah i know today's for real we you know uh i already had the show we did the show and we did a little bit for 9 11 but even watching those, every time I see those videos, it's like never, it's just like the first time seeing it. Every I know, time you aren't see you it. like, how did, did that really happen? I mean, I was 15 years old. I was in ninth grade ELP class when it happened. And um, I didn't know, I, I didn't know what the World Trade Centers were. I saw the second plane crash on TV because they quit 
everything we were doing in school and um they just turned on the tvs and that's all we did all day was watch that it was crazy you know my dad was in in new york you when think that happened he said that yeah yeah so his I dad used to work they jeff's from chicago but your dad used to work in new york right he was a consultant for a couple of years and he worked uh in new york city with a couple of friends and i don't really know manhattan that well so it, if the towers were uptown, he was downtown, but if the towers were downtown, he was uptown, however that works. But he wasn't far away and I remember it happening and uh, call, you know, talking to my mom and I'm like, well, where's dad, did you hear from him? Cause it was so chaotic and yeah. you didn't know what was happening. So it was kind of scary. Luckily he was far enough away where he wasn't affected. But uh, I think everybody, at least, I mean, yeah, I know you're younger than me, but our generation, that's our like JFK shooting. Yeah. You know, like everybody I guess is a little older, remembers that, but. It I think just, everybody remembers where they were. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Everybody remembers no matter. I mean, I know it's been 22 years. Could you believe that? And but, then um, Diane Sawyer always does. Uh, I think it's Diane Sawyer, Sawyer does the kids of 9-11 who were babies yeah, no, that lost a dad or a mom. I think most of them, I think a, a dad in 9-11 and it's just to see the kids now, they're they're grown. Yeah. Well, we won't. I yeah. mean, I'm everyone has their own memories of 9/11, and I don't know about you. I don't know why it's taboo, but in this house, we support the troops, we support yes. our firefighters, yes. our police officers, and we respect them. We have our kids respect them in our neighborhood. So. Uh, we have big hearts for them and lost a lot of great lives. I hope they're not forgotten, but we'll get to some funny, but I just want to, I think, take yeah. time to, you know, respect our country a little bit. Yes. Always acknowledge those. Okay. So here we go, guys. Are we going to get a right lot in? Of them so Jordan's steering this ship. So if it hits a rocky shore. It's probably, a, it's going to be a mess, you guys. <laughs> it's always a mess. So I'm going through here. Okay. So. Um, Do you have an idea of where you want to start? Well, okay, so uh, there were some that were the same. Um, Big Brother stuff, I was going to put that towards the end. Uh, a lot of people wanted to know that. Um, a lot of people want us to talk about Big Brother. To be honest, I'm not watching Big Brother this season. Not be not for any reason. It's just because it's a, normally Big Brother's a summer show, and it's easier for me to keep up with it. It's a big commitment three days a week to keep up with Big Brother. And uh, there's a lot going on with our kids are getting older. So I just fell behind and I just stopped watching Once it. you fall behind on those things, it's hard to pick back up. You right. Know, like mid-season. It is. You got to like kind of go from the beginning, get your characters or your players, whoever, and then... Uh, and then we'll keep watching from there. But once you fall behind, it's kind of over. And that's what happened to us. Our son is in two different football leagues and just a lot going on. You you know, life kind of gets in the way of things. So we'll take your questions now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So someone had wrote, did you ever change your last name? If me. And that's no. Um, because one, and you... Uh, <laughs> I already know the reason. I'll give you the honest reason after Jordan's bullshit answer. No, because if we ever got divorced, it's a pain in the ass to get your name back. All right, you get And um, uh, I, I tell him all the time, I'm like, I'm Jordan Lloyd. Like, that's me. I'm not Jordan Schroeder. So that's who I am. Yeah, but she said it. That's exactly why. And here's the true reason. Her parents were divorced, nothing against that, right? And she had a tough time with that and she knew how hard it was. So she's just expecting at some point in the future that we'll get divorced and this will just be one less step that she has to deal with. So I'm just like, <laughs> whatever you think, just keep your name, I don't care. Okay, is there a quality trait your partner has that you hope your kids inherit or one they already have? Wow. That's a good one. Yeah. I like that. Um, what I do you think? think? I think, I mean, I don't know. A spif, pis, yeah. Specific? I, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I guess neither of our kid is going to be smart. <laughs> neither of our kid. That was terrible. Um, Lawson's very smart. Yeah, he is. I'm just kidding. And yeah. I think Lawson's more like me, and I think Layton's more like you. Yes. I don't know about specific traits. I could get into detail, but I think overall, I think they both share our traits. I think Layton has a lot of me in him, too. But I think overall, that's kind of what it boils down to. I feel like to. Lawson, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, because I'm constantly cleaning. He is good at picking up after himself. He's not selfish, 
and um, he's very. I think Lawson's very kind. Yeah, he is. He's got a others. big heart. He's, he's got a sensitive. Heart. Lawson's very sensitive, and Layton is just. Layton's just Layton. <laughs> he's always hurt. He's always doing something. He is. Um, he he's just our Layton, right? That's about it. He Jeff summed it up perfect. The other day, his bicycle, he just got a new bicycle. The training, one training wheel was off. Uh, the steering the part, handlebars. Uh, handlebars of the bicycle was already messed up. And he's like, this is Layton. I'm like, of course it is. He rides his, <laughs> which is kind of good. I don't know. Maybe it's not. He rides his uh, bike. My parents got him bikes when they were here visiting for their birthdays. And he's got just one training wheel, not two training wheels to balance out. He has just one training wheel. And I think he kind of rides the bike now, but he still relies on that one training wheel. So I think it kind of helped him, but it just fell off and we just never put it back on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's late. And here's another one. Um, do you and Jeff want any more kids? This That was a big one a lot of people wrote. People are like, you don't want to try for that girl. For me, I am done. I... When we moved here to Denver, we Jeff was at that time, it was season one of Daily Blast Live, he was never home. I was doing everything with the kids, and no, I am i don't want kids at all. I don't want And your, uh, your thing is running out, right? Oh, my gosh, you guys. I keep telling Jeff, my IUD, if I'm right, please somebody correct me. Y'all can, like, DM me. Your my IUD I had put in six weeks after I had Layton because you have to wait, right? And then it expires after five years, so I'm coming up on expiration, right? And I keep telling Jeff, go get snipped. You won't. I didn't say I won't. I'm waiting for the expiration you, date. You're waiting on the expiration date. You're waiting to get me pregnant. No, That's there's still a little milk left in that container and wait till it goes bad. And then maybe and I'll then get I it fixed. I told Jeff and I was like, if, if I get pregnant, we're going to have problems. <laughs> yeah, it's tough to get in there these days. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so maybe I do have to do something. I told him, I was like, stay away from me. <laughs> you, like, men are like the animal kingdom. You guys are like the lions. Like, you just, it's like you smell your, you're like your prey, and you just, like, pounce <laughs> on them. <laughs> well, we need to do something, yeah. I think I'm done with kids, too. Yeah, I mean, Jeff I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't one. mind one more, to be honest with you. I wouldn't mind you're one more. You're 45, though, you know, and you're always complaining about money and complaining yeah, about but everything. I'm still a young lion, you know, <laughs> at heart. <laughs> <laughs> and I told him, I was like, if something happened to you, and then I got three kids by myself. I, you, you I love your philosophy. I'm going to die. You're not changing your name, so it's easier when I die <laughs> to just pick up with someone else. I Jordan's don't got love everything anybody. fixed. I Make enough to... money so when you die, I don't have to change my name and I just get your house and I can just move some <laughs> hobo in here. Oh, come on. Could you say hobo anymore? You guys, it was so cute. Uh, last night, Lawson, he goes, Mom, I, I think I'm going to be an adult and live here. And I was like, okay. And he's like, you know, I got a couch in my room. I got a TV. And um, he goes, I like this house. And I got plenty of room. I go, it's fine, babe. You can stay here as long as you need to. <laughs> That's, Jordan's like, if you ever get fired from your job, you're going back to L.A. I'm staying here. Oh, yeah. I'm never leaving. <laughs> never leaving. I, um, yeah. So, oh, the, speaking of, this is another question that had came up. It was, how do you to have sexy time? when the kids are put to bed. Okay, that's a perfect time to take a little break right now because I know intrigue people to come back and listen to our answer. So let's take a quick break. I'll see how to answer this and then uh, we'll be right back. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. With school starting back, Jeff and I have been really busy with the kids' schedules. I feel like I put a lot of pressure on myself to have the house clean, dinner cooked, like just everything ready, and I can cause myself to have anxiety sometimes. I've been working through that um, and talking with my doctor, getting myself off my antidepressants. I'm trying to use exercise, things like that, instead of depending on medicine. But if you're somebody who 
easily gets anxiety or depression, BetterHelp is great for you because you can talk to a counselor in your home, private. It's not like you have to go anywhere, especially if you're somebody like us who has busy, busy schedules. So all you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist like Jordan said, and this is the best part. You could switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. So if you don't like the therapist that you got, you could definitely switch over to someone else that's more suitable to your needs. And you mentioned flexibility. I think that's a big one with everyone's schedule going back to school. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient and flexible, like you mentioned, and suitable to everyone's different schedules. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. Get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash together mess, M-E-S-S, today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash together mess. Okay, welcome back. How do we do sexy time, Jeff? All right. We, I didn't really, you didn't finish the question, but that's it. How do you, wait. Well, it, it's, the person wrote, how do you have sexy time? Like when you have the kids around, how do you make time for you two to have fun instead of being like, hurry up. But that's kind of like what we do. It's kind of like, it's kind of like. He's uh, the lion it that is comes like after that. me and I'm like, get away. And then it's like, no. <laughs> get out of here. But it's not like, I mean, I don't know what people think in the movies or whatever, but it's like, hurry up and let's go. No, and it makes me laugh. There was one day, you know, it was, uh, I think, I don't know. I'm probably sharing too much. Kids are like bit. playing. And then you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Kids are playing. You like come up to me and I was just like, just hurry up. And then I was laughing. I was like, this just like is not even like sexy at all. Listen, I don't care. Ask any parent with <laughs> a true. six and a five year old. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, it's but get real. Like with these like, oh yeah, we have dinner and strawberries. We hold hands. Fuck off. Well, you the, do no, not do the that. people that are like, we have sex like five times. Yeah, a get day. real. Yeah, right. I can't stand that. What is with that? I like, don't even think I want to have sex five times. A, we five do like times. these. Uh, always with like these older women and I'm not being ageist so everyone calm down. It's, uh, you know, these women are like, they brag and like, yeah, I still have a libido. I have sex like three times a day, like Suzanne Summers. No, you don't. Get real. No, yeah. you don't. I, I don't even, three times a day? That's Yeah, come too on, much. man. Who's I got, don't who, even want to. I mean, what are you doing? You eat three times a day. <laughs> I don't want to. But it is, listen, sex, we always say this, sex is very important. It, if you're not having sex, I always said, I always tell Jeff this, if we weren't having sex, I'd be like, who are you having sex with? You know what I mean? If like you weren't having sex <laughs> yeah, with I do me, know what you mean. I'd be like, I'd be going through the phone. I would start investigating, thinking something was going on because it's healthy. It bonds you. You still it, do that anyway. No, I don't. Are you <laughs> yeah, serious? You no, I do not. Do not even say that because I don't. Um, but uh, I'm trying to get, it bonds you. Help me out here. It yeah, does. I agree. Let's take it's a break healthy. and go do it. Jeff. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just um, kidding. Okay, so off the sex question. Do you guys watch TV shows together and who gets to choose? I think it's more of a mutual thing. We both like action. We both like murder. We like gangster. Yeah, definitely. Type. Yeah, documentary. It's... We really like documentaries. Yeah. Yeah, it depends when we, yeah, definitely a lot of documentaries. Those new Netflix, uh, I forgot what they're called, but like the new Johnny Manziel, whoever, whatever those are called. Beyond, uh, breaking, is it Breaking Point? I think that's what it's is called. Is it? I think it's called Breaking Point. No, wait, that's a tennis one. I can't, Untold, that's what it is, Untold. Is it Untold? untold. Oh, the whole series, yeah, the yeah, Untold yeah, yeah. series. Those are really good. So we like those. A lot of HBO shows. We kind of know what each other's going to like. And if we don't, if like she's into like fake shows about guys. This with summer I turn pretty. <laughs> yeah. Sex life. Yeah. Sex life. That's what I was getting at. Oh, somebody asked this on a question. Um, they started watching a summer I, I turn those. pretty because I yeah. said it. And they were like, are you team Conrad or Jeremiah? And I think it, because it's been a couple weeks. I'm team Jeremiah, I think. He's got like the baby blue eyes and the dark hair. I think he is so cute. See, I, but he looks I'm like he's 12, that. so I feel weird saying that. He's uh, 
He's a cute kid. I can't believe you're not on like the boat of the Bravo boat with me and watch like below under you got, and all uh, that. Uh, this is below under, no, below deck. Below my unders. <laughs> no, that's <laughs> below deck. Yeah, I love that show. And I love Vanderpump. Is anybody else feeling this way? I'm starting to get turned off really by reality shows because they're just not good anymore. They're, I say this all the time. I get when what you're saying. When we were on Big Brother in 2009 and uh, reality shows before that, that was when reality TV was good. We didn't care. We were guns blazing, yelling at each other. I'm sure they would have cared. Now, somebody would get offended by anything that we said yelling at each other. Like, somebody told me I was fat and to go eat more cookie dough. Remember that? Like, yeah. now? I did, show, and I yeah. didn't even cry about it. I just, like, chest bumped it. No, you know what yeah, I mean? And now I you get what you're saying. That. You can't. And then the network can't even have it. So, if everyone on the show is like, I understand your feelings. And then they make a whole moment about yes. it and put music in the background. And it's, it's like, so annoying. I kind of just want people to get back to like survivor we always watch survivor together a survivor it's the same thing everybody votes the same way people are scared to say things and so it just and i don't know like before old reality like the real world back in the day people would be blacked out drunk so you want to see the train but now wrecks. there's two oh everyone does want to see the train wreck but now the network has a responsibility so if you let someone get too drunk then you could sue the network so then they they can't have it and then the people in general if you say something now i mean it, it's hard for you to get a job like it's yeah. It's rough. Yeah. Like, and I'm not saying You're things labeled. were right back then. Yeah, You're definitely labeled. labeled. Definitely People labeled. just weren't um, sensitive like they are now. And so just. I do like the challenge, though. I do watch oh, the MTV challenge. Oh, TV the so. challenge. I will watch yeah, that with I you. I do like that. So there is some reality shows that I still do watch. But, like, the challenge has a lot of old school people on there. But that's like, probably why I people. like it. Yeah. That's probably yeah. why. um because it's people when I was in high school, I would watch them. Would you, I think you were telling me earlier too, there was a question about would you go back and no. do one of those shows? No. Would you go back and do Big Brother? No, I would never do Big Brother Would again. you do Amazing very Race? Great, hell no, I hated Amazing Race. But that's not so much like, Amazing uh, that's race. not like a reality show. Like you're not getting your personality. You're just racing for a million dollars. It's not really about you. Amazing Race just isn't me. I just was like, I don't know. It's boring. I would do Amazing Race over a hundred, like tomorrow. Yeah, no, I didn't. Um, I wouldn't do. I wouldn't go back on Big Brother. I wanted to like after I thought on Amazing Race when you're done racing. I thought like you get to like get out and do things, and you don't. Once you're done racing, you're like they put you in your hotel room and you're in there. And like I always say that I always give this example when we were in Santiago, Chile, there was some festival going on and I was like, Jeff, we should sneak out of our room and go to that festival. And you're like, I'm not doing that. But they put something at your door so they would know, like, if you snuck out, you know, you would get eliminated yeah. if you did. But Amazing Race, I didn't enjoy it. I just did it because I'd never been out of the country before. And, um, and that's why I did that. And then... You know, Big Brother, I was scouted. I'm very grateful for Big Brother. And everybody there was so, you know, kind. And it definitely changed my life. And then going into, this, this was another question I was reading. Somebody asked me, did Big Brother, does it financially, if winning Big Brother, does it financially um, change you? Which I always use it this way. People think like Big Brother you win Big Brother and you get to retire or something, like you won the lottery. It's cushion. That's what my grandpa said. It was like the best thing my grandpa, it was the best advice my grandpa gave me. After I won Big Brother, my grandpa said, you are not rich. Do not go buy a rich man's car. And he goes, you have cushion. So I was very, to be so young, I was 22. Um, and I told you guys this before, um, what did I say? I paid, I think 189,000 went to, to the IRS. And then I, I think I was left with like 315, bought a house, paid off my sister's car. Um, uh, my childhood friend growing up got her like a baby changing room. 
or like a whole baby room. And I was responsible with it. And the rest, I didn't go buy stupid stuff. I didn't go buy a new car. I kept my car from high school. So um, no, you can't retire off of it. But yes, it helps you get assets if you're smart with it. If you go and buy a brand new car or go to and buy designer handbags, I think it's kind of a waste. That's just my opinion. But if you invest well in it, you can do you can do well. Yeah, and back then it was five hundred thousand. Obviously, you have to pay your now own taxes it's on more. that. Now it's seven fifty nine. Amazing, or like survivors a million. So it's like it depends what you win, where you live, and uh, I don't know. Now things are just so expensive. Everything is so expensive now. If you walked away with three fifteen, yeah, like I said, it helps you. It's cushion, but no, you're not. You're not some baller like a lot of people try to put out there like they are, Absolutely right? Not. Yeah. It's just like when I can't stand when people who have been on reality shows and you know they probably do well, get paid a little bit, but they act like they're the Kardashians. I'm like, please stop. Yeah. Best advice for couples when communicating with each other. Wow. Um, I think communication is the key. I don't I think if you're communicating, you have to figure out your own language. I think a lot of people lack communication, which we did. We really lacked communication and didn't realize it. And we until, learned that on marriage boot camp. Yeah, which is kind of funny. And we went you know? on marriage boot camp because we were like, oh, we'll just go for a paycheck. Yeah, speaking of getting paid. Because yeah. we were getting backlash from people for going on it because we were considered perfect. Like everybody thought we were like the all American type couple. Perfect. We get along. <laughs> and then we got and on we there were started far, fighting. Yeah. We no, were but far I, from you know what? That was really, we, you know, everyone kind of laughs at that show, but I learned a lot on that show and we met some really cool people on we that did. show. So I had a, all in all, I had a great time on that show and I learned a lot, but we learned how to communicate with each other. And I think that's what a lot of relationship a lot of relationships are lacking is that communication they're just not on the same page and speaking of big brother if one house is saying one side of the house is saying something and the other side is saying something else if you don't communicate to the other side of the house you're never going to know what's right. going on right so you got to do that in your own house as well okay that wait changing this this made me laugh because i always say this to you what do i always say to you what do you always say to me about your face oh what? It's a compliment I always give you. I have good skin? You do have good skin, but I always say you have the best lips. Oh, okay. Um, somebody wrote, does Jeff get lip filler? Really? <laughs> no, he's just blessed with beautiful lips. He and does have really good lips. I, I have lip filler. Hang on. I have lip filler. And there was another question. Ellen, she watches this show all the time, our podcast. She goes, should um, you drink after getting lip filler? And it's funny because I was having drinks with her and she had just had her lips done. And a couple hours later, I was like, oh, your lips are really big. And I was like, I think you're really swollen. She's like, they're really big. <laughs> I do use chapstick like obsessively. I don't know if that no, has anything to like do with it. you have like perfect... You have very nice lips. I always tell you that. I lube them up. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Seriously, I'm obsessed with chapstick. Like, if I don't have it, like, if I leave the house, I'll go to the gas station you know they and get say a new one. If you start with chapstick like that, you always have to have chapstick. Yeah. it's a, How many it's chapsticks true. are over around God, this house? They're everywhere. 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 The dryer, every time one falls out of the dryer. No, but they're, I put mine, I get these Costco from Costco packs. and they have like caps and they're, they don't really mess up either in the washer. Yeah. But you were, I have lip filler, if anybody cares to know. I actually got lip filler because if you've noticed, my lip goes up like this just naturally. I, it's just how my face is. And I got lip filler to help balance it. They can't correct it because that's just me. But when I first met Jeff on Big Brother, I remember we were outside and I al it always bothered me. And you were like, I oh, like you, you're like, your lip is crooked. And I was like, oh, no. And then. I, I like it, though. Yeah. But and then I got like embarrassed because I was like, oh, this guy's never talking to me. No, but I told you I liked it at yeah, the time. Yeah, I know. I All didn't right. Mean that okay. We're going to take one more quick break, and then we come back. Let's rattle through as many as we can so we can get everyone's question, okay? Okay. All right. 
September means it's back to school season and with 80 weekly options featuring nutritionist approved and foodie approved recipes, Jordan and I are going to start getting our diet on with Green Chef. We are. And with school in Lawson with sports, uh, it, our podcast, uh, you started your new season of Daily Blast Live. There's a lot going on over here. And so it's always easy. I say this every time having Green Chef delivered at our door. Yeah. And there's only so many hours in the day between sports and my work and Jordan getting back in the gym that we could get things done. If you want a quick, healthy way of getting things done, Green Chef is the answer. Green Chef delivers everything you need to eat clean, and I'm looking forward to that this coming fall. You can feel your best with nutrition-approved recipes packed with clean ingredients that support your healthy lifestyle and taste great, too. I had the caprese salad and panini because I always hit uh, pick the vegetarian one, and it was so good. Yeah, whatever you choose, the ingredients are great. And there's always something that surprises me in there that I usually wouldn't use myself, but it comes in the meal kit. So that's kind of my favorite part. You always talk about the spices. Yeah, I love it. I love the spices that they put in there. So you guys could get your own Green Chef. Go to greenchef.com slash 60 together mess. That's M-E-S-S. And use code 60 together mess to get 60% off. Plus, you know what? You get free shipping. So go to greenchef.com slash 60 together mess, M E S S. Use code 60 together mess to get 60% off. And again, that is free shipping. Woohoo! Welcome back from this break. All right, let's We're going like to try to rattle route. through them. I just, like, <laughs> I just whistled through my. We're going to rattle through them. Um, uh, what is one wish for both your kids? Oh, it's so cheesy, but health, right? Yes. Yeah. Health. Are you watching the current season of Big Brother? You don't have to say it like that. I mean, we could go We're going to rattle. But you don't have to say it like you're an announcer that knows what's going on. <laughs> what did you say? Um, are you watching the current season of Big Brother? I'm not. We are not. We are not. Um, are you still friends? Anybody from Big Brother? I keep up with everybody through Instagram. Yeah. Uh, surprisingly, people would be surprised probably, and this is for Big Brother fans listening only that would know these names. I talk to Adam a lot from season 13. Uh, we keep in touch a lot just through football season, and he sends me funny things or a concert or whatever. So he's been keeping up with me. Here's one that nobody will guess. My man, Lawan. Oh, I he, love Lawan. Lawan is the cutest I love that guy. He writes me all the time, and I have to be better about reciprocating that. He writes me all the time, every holiday, every birthday, what's going on, he's just thinking about you, He's and he's just so upbeat all the time, and a lot of people don't know that we communicate. I talk with him probably more than anybody. He's always like, hey, boo, I'm yeah. back, boo. He's yeah, so he is like such a great guy, and again, just through text and stuff, and then through Instagram, we talk to Jesse a lot, which is surprising, too. I'm just happy. Uh, He's got a show on Netflix coming out. Yeah, Watch check it. that out. We'll we'll definitely be checking that out. It's just it's amazing who you kind of keep in touch with after the show because yeah. people who hold on to things from Big Brother that happened, I think that's it's that's silly. a that's a weight you got to carry. That's not on me because I'm not carrying anything from that show. And if you are, I, I apologized after the show. I, there's nothing really to apologize for in certain specific cases. I'm meaning people that I fight with. You know what I mean? It's like you got to let that go and let bygones be bygones. It was 14 years ago. If you're still carrying that weight around, that's on you, you know? But the people that we do talk to, I think are very surprising to a lot of people. Yes. And if we're missing somebody that we talk to, I'm sorry too. Um, since marijuana is legal in Colorado, do either of you do edibles? Um, I, I never smoked weed, or I've never, I had, like when I was 18, I smoked. I tried pot. I never inhaled. That was my, that was <laughs> I my tried dad. it one time and it was laced with something and I felt like uh, stuff was coming on my mouth and oh my God, it was crazy. I was like, oh my, I was freaking out. Um, and time was going by I so feel slow. Better. I'm joke so there, I never, I, um, I never smoked after that. But um, since I'm off all my antidepressants, winging myself off, I have a hard time sleeping. Melatonin keeps me up. So I did recently get some edibles. Um, never, haven't tried them yet because I'm scared 
for some reason. I'm yeah. like scared I'm going to be high and have a panic attack. I got these things, and this isn't an endorsement. I talked about these. Oh, the people other day. asked what those were. So it's this company called Can C A N N, and hopefully I don't know if you can. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, I drink these things, and it's two milligrams. T or it's two milligrams CBD, four milligrams THC. And one of my friends introduced me to them and I only drink them at night. I drink them with like some sparkling water and I have trouble sleeping a lot and I have to stay up and watch TV. And if I drink one of these or two of these some nights, if I'm watching a good movie, I sleep like a baby. So I just got some more and I'm very excited about it, but I only do them at night, like to calm down and wind down. Cause I've expressed on the show, like my mind never stops racing and those really help me calm down. I've never actually, I don't, I'm not a big drug guy. I don't smoke, I don't do anything. So these are mild enough where you're not high, but you're just kind of sleepy in a zone. And uh, that's kind of what I, my jam. Yeah, check them out. Okay, best marriage tip while going through hard times financially. I would say that's be hard. there for, be there for your partner, right? Listen, money is a, is a huge, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, money doesn't buy happiness, but you know, it is a huge stressor on a lot of relationships, including ours. Cause to be honest, we never had any money. You know, the money that Jordan got, um, from her house, it, it's her, you know, mom and brother's house now. And we struggled in, in LA, which was tough. But again, that struggle looking back were the best times of my life, even though I didn't have anything. I, though I love those days, you know, not saying anything against my family and things. Now I love my life now, but, uh, it, it's hard. It's hard. And you really got to navigate it because it's tough. Yeah. Um, do you guys share the same beliefs? I think so. I really do. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's, we important. pray. I believe in God. I'm, uh, Chris, well, non-denominational you're Catholic. Yeah, yeah, but not practicing. I mean, we do. We go to. We go to the same. We go to like a each other's church. Yeah, church. yeah. Like a, it's. And I, I think, think that could be a big a thing with uh, marriage too. Is religion like religion? Politics now has somehow become Jesus. nuts. But uh, I. Th it's also like beliefs on how you want to raise your children, what kind of morals you want to put yep. on them. You know. So I think we're definitely on the same page when it comes to our kids and what values we want them to have. Exactly. Um, does Jeff ever get asked if he is Kurt Warner? Watching football blows my mind how much they look alike. I have no idea who that is. Kurt Warner? Who's that? He's an old. He's an older quarterback. Well, I mean, probably Does he have not gray much hair? He's got gray hair now. Look him up. I don't think he looks like me that much. I don't know. I gotta look him up. Um, what is? The I never got. I got Tim Tebow one time, and I liked it. <laughs> no, you know who I think you look like sometimes is. Um, uh, is it Jesse Palmer, the new Bachelor host? Oh yeah, that guy. You both like Similar. I think because he's getting grayer hair. Yeah, it, that's who you remind me of. Because I used to see him on GMA. I'll take it. I'll take all three. Um, what's the best part of being parents? Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait till our kids are old enough to listen to this. Uh, I think the best part of being a parent, um, there is so many great things we complain about a lot, but there's so many just, I don't know, little moments. I mean, there's the big moments, you know, like when, you know, Lawson scored his first touchdown or their kid's first day of school, but it's the little things when you're just sitting around and like the things that they say and like, they're funny and cute, not mm -hmm. being little jerks, but like the, the times that aren't just so outstanding or things that you put on a fridge. It's just the little small things. I said to things. Lawson yesterday, I go, do you think I'm a bad mom? He goes, no, I think you're a great mom, but you fight with me too much. <laughs> See, he's starting to get to that age. Yeah, and I like... I like them better the older they are. I just, I, there's like little moments now, like when you go to bed or they lay down and they just like grab your face and they're like, I love you, dad. Yeah. You know, it's and like those like little moments. You Jeff's know? the one that's sentimental now. You cry. You'll talk about them. I'll see, like if I watch DBO and you're talking about them, your eyes get all watery. Like you just saying happy birthday to Leighton on air. I can see <laughs> your nose flares. Uh, would you do a reality show? Yes. I, oh, you would? I would. Like you a wouldn't? below deck? Like a below deck? No, I can't do below deck. I'm too old for below deck. But I would do, you mean if someone came to us with cameras and said we'd like to do a reality show, you wouldn't do one about like our life or family? We're not interesting. Well, I'm not saying that it would 
go anywhere. I'm just saying you wouldn't film it. Maybe. I would, and you wouldn't it do like a, I definitely would. I, I def feel like it's a curse for getting divorced. Well, it doesn't forget the curse. Like you wouldn't do a game show or like a travel show. Like I don't. Yeah. A travel show. Yeah. Not a game show. Well, why not? If it was fun, like you wouldn't run, run wild with Bear Grylls. Oh, I would do that. So you, I would the, run with him. Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't eat anything. I think I. Yeah. You'd I have like to him. try it. That would be the show. Yeah, I would jump off something, but I wouldn't eat anything. That's I today. I heated up a sausage, and his scallop was beside. Uh, I took a bite of it. <sighs> it just tasted like straight up fish. I spit it out. I was like, "This is disgusting. How do you eat this crap?" We have the um, same values, but not the same food. No. Like the food, like no. taste and food. Um, do you think Colorado is your forever home? Yes. I well, would like it to be. I would like Colorado to be my forever home, but I would. I'm manifesting it. I'm putting it out there. I want a home, uh, not anything major, just like something small, um, in North or South Carolina, North Carolina or South Carolina, a beach home. I want it. I already have it all planned out. I want the moss trees and I want a dock and it could be just a tiny little house. So, um, and then I can go back home whenever I want, but I don't ever see myself moving back to Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina. I love Charlotte, but it's so different now. I mean, it's, it's actually like a city now. It's big. Colorado, I really love Colorado. My family's super dysfunctional, so I don't want to be near my family. <laughs> and then you, I, I can't wanna, see you no, back in No, I would love Chicago. to raise, raise uh, the kids here. I hope, I hope everything they would, works out. Lawson and them would be sad if we moved. Yeah. Lawson. Um, it's great. I love Colorado. I really do. Yes. Um, did you have postpartum after your second baby? I did not. I had the blues for a couple weeks. Um, but besides that... Um, I was good. Remember, I just randomly started crying. You were going to Costco and Layton was like three days old. You were going to Costco and you took loss. I just started crying. You were like, are you okay? Are you all right? Do I need to leave you? <laughs> you were freaking out. Yeah, because You're, I was scared. I do yeah. remember that. You still pull those days now. Oh, I get mad. And then I'm like, I don't want to see any of you. I don't want to see you or the kids. Yeah. Um, are you content being a stay at home mom? I am. Sometimes I see myself like doing something small, like getting a part time job two days a week, wherever somebody would hire me, um, because I am not that type of stay at home mom. That's like, ooh, I want to go shopping. I want to go to the mall. I want to do this. I want, you know, like prissy. I'm normally in my yard working my house. But to be honest, and you, you can back me up with this. I do a lot around here, and it's it takes a lot, like cleaning the house, the yard, everything, and the kids. Why are you laughing? I'm not. I'm you just You better not be smiling. You. you better have my back. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, what's a typical weekend like? Pretty much we're at home. It's how we look right now. Um, and we drink beers and get drunk with our neighbors Friday and Saturday. <laughs> kinda... And then Sundays, we don't do anything. We don't talk to anybody. And uh, that's it. Yeah, because summer's different. We go to the pool, have a couple beers, come back, grill, listen to music. It's pretty much the same thing. Now with Lawson starting football, he's got football on Saturday and Sunday. And that's why Lawson played bad. I posted this. He didn't play that great on Saturday because first game and he's it was my friend's birthday. And I was like, yeah, let's go out. Cause I was drunk and I wanted to go up to the clubhouse. And so we went up to the clubhouse yeah. and I had more drinks. And we go up to the mountains a lot. That's kind of yes. our thing, too. We head up to, like, Morrison, if you don't know, or Red Rocks is, or Evergreen. And I love doing stuff like that on the weekends. And then let's do you, let's end it on this, I guess. Um, after, after marriage and kids, how do you find time to connect with just the two of you? Keeping it spicy, question mark. That's hard. I wish we had more of that, you know, like date nights. When his nights. parents were in town and we went to this charity event with his work and then we went out after, it was so nice, like not having to get a babysitter, not feeling, because when I get a babysitter, I feel like, because they're young, they need to go home too. They don't need to be out late. And so I'm, I always feel like I can't relax. And then when uh, family's here, it's like, oh, they're good. Like, we can stay out as late as we want, which 
late is midnight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't yeah, mean but that, like I think, three in the morning. I think that's tough and we should try to do more of that because it is important just to get out, me and you again. I love hanging out with the family and doing stuff like that, but we, I think it's important for your relationship to get out without the kids once in a while. And we don't have any family here to help us, so it's harder, but uh, yeah, I just, I think we should work on it's that It's normally more. us, we normally go up to this clubhouse and our kids play with like the neighborhood kids and that kind of gives us a little bit of a break because they're busy playing and then we socialize with other people but we need to get better at doing things just the two of us because we're really not good at that yeah and i just I said think that that's okay is that how we're ending this <laughs> maybe we should do one more how do you react when people hit on you or jeff in dms or in person I don't get hit on. You do. You're being humble. No, I'm not being humble. When do I get hit on? You I get wish hit I did. On. Oh, you don't? I don't. Listen, dudes are scumbags. It's not like that hard to get hit on. You know what? Look at your face. I am not smart. I don't. You guys, I don't. That's a lie. I don't. You get hit I on. would love it if somebody would hit on me. So if you want to hit on me, that I feel great. All right, take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. But yeah, I don't think we get hit on enough you know i definitely don't worry it's a problem if i do i'll be like mm, what's up no we're not <laughs> jealous people that's uh it's a you know what okay if you get hit on or if somebody acknowledges you it makes you feel good right there's a difference between i know where you're going someone hitting on you and you being like oh i want to you um there's some th there's sometimes there's where boundaries it gets, there's sometimes where it gets disrespectful and exactly. you're like come on man i'm right here you know what i mean like what are you doing but if there is um but no like if somebody's hitting on you i think that's good because it's always just us and it's like the per same person you've been sleeping with forever and then when you're if <laughs> what some kind of answer is that hang on no i'm listen it's the same person you've been sleeping on forever and so it's always just me that like you've slept with so if somebody's hitting on you you're probably like yes i got it like it makes you feel good it gives you confidence right you took that into a whole new arena why what are you talking about why is that weird what does it have to do with getting hit on, sleeping with someone? What are you, where are you no, going? No, because it's like the same person. It's like you see me all the time. And like normally I'm always like, you know, like dressed down. So if there's like a girl that's pretty and she's dressed up and you're at the bar or something and she hits on you, you're like, oh, I got it. Like I still got it. Like somebody acknowledges me and it makes you feel good. Uh, listen, don't I lie. don't know. I feel like I'm stepping on a landmine here. This is one of those, yeah, go to Vegas with your friends and have fun. You deserve it. And then in the second you're about to leave for the airport, you get in trouble no, for something because they're pissed that, that you up, went to Vegas. You're making that up in your head and you're leaving for Vegas in two weeks and I can't wait. <laughs> All right, we're wrapping this up before I step on a you're not going to step on a lame I just think it's good. I think it's healthy. All right, so next time you guys see me at a bar, you know, give Jeff, give one Jeff. more button and come rub up against me and see how Jordan, uh, <laughs> maybe she'll buy you a drink too. Layton's laughing. Come here, is, Bob. Is mommy come silly? Here. Mommy's crazy. All right, no, that does it. it We're going to wrap feel it up. Good. Thanks for the questions today, guys. Thank uh, you so much for again, sending us. We hit a little landmark, 10 episodes for us. Do Hopefully have, there's many um, more. Do you have a question? Do you have a question for mommy and daddy? Mario. Mario? Hey, what? ask mommy a question. Ask me a question. What's, give mommy a question. What's a good question? Mm -hmm. I like playing at school. He likes playing at school? Ask mommy a question. Mommy, why do you... What's your favorite what song? What does mommy do all the time? Does she yell at you all the time? Or do you, is mommy nice to you? No, mommy shakes her butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to go. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Tell a friend, like, subscribe. Yes, uh, again, thank you for writing in all those questions. Okay. All right, he's getting Thank goofy. you yeah, for all the questions. Um, don't forget that. to like, download, subscribe, tag a friend. Um, again, thank you all for call for following Together Miss Pod. It's, like, really growing. It makes me so happy. I try to answer all of you and um and thank you yeah we'll get back next week to our regular routine which is not routine at all so we'll see but you people like the no routine i had the perfect like end line and you just said bye oh well do your in line bye